Hey guys, it is your girl Crispy K, and I'm here with a halo eye look. Um, I use mainly Marc Jacobs products, and also this video, um, everything that I got that's Marc Jacobs, I received from Influencer. So if you're not familiar with them, I am going to tell you a little bit about them, and I'm also going to put you a link down below if you're interested in joining. I got one of six Marc Jacobs Iconic palettes, and this is what it looks like right here. This is the inside. Super cute palette. Palette retails for $60 and I got it for the free 99. So with Influencer, they give you products that are fairly new to try and kind of test them out and give feedback. And so for like this one, um, there's a few things that I have to do for receiving this. So the first thing is that I log into my profile on Influencer. The second thing is that I check in my box so that I know that I received it um, to get the badge. They give you badges and the more badges that you earn, the more things that you get. Like this is probably my third thing from them. Like they just keep getting bigger and bigger. So um, what I need to do is I need to make a review on Sephora. Now that I've used the palette, I can honestly review it and I will say that these shadows are so bomb and they're so pigmented. And then um, I'm have to make a post, a picture on Instagram using the dressed eye hashtag. So also, the Marc Jacobs Do You Drops. I use that for my highlighter to intensify it. I usually put this underneath my highlighter and put a powder highlighter on top of it to set it and to have your glow pop in. And then I also use my Marc Jacobs Eyeliner, which I also received from Influencer. I got Irony and I got Earthquake. So, like you guys, I kid you not, like it's a great way to try out new products. They have luxury brands. Um, I've gotten a few things from there, but these are kind of my most recent and then Marc Jacobs. And because I always complete the tag, I get more things. And then they keep getting bigger and bigger and better and better. And then you have chances to win prizes or like whole boxes from the brand. It really is awesome. And I did use these things to create it. And since they all came from Influencer, I figured that I would share with you guys today in case you were curious on how to get some free stuff. Um, but like I said, if you guys like this look and you want to see how I got it, keep watching and also if you are not subscribed already go ahead and subscribe and if you don't follow me on Instagram go ahead and follow your girl so I'm gonna start with my Marc Jacobs highlighter eyeliner and this is in the shade irony the first step to completing this halo eye is a first to primary lid which I did primary and I did with um, my soft ochre matte paint pop so what I'm gonna do is take a little bit on the inside like the goal is not to put too much but you want to create that separation in divine I mean in divide and this eyeshadow is like this eyeliner is super creamy so I'm gonna do the same thing over here just take it and put it on the outer V and I'm just blending it out now this does not have to be perfect as you can see this ain't coming out perfect but in the end it's gonna look pretty just basically the main thing to remember is to like keep the space in the center so after I do that um, I'm featuring the Marc Jacobs iconic palette but um, it does not have the transition shade that I need so I'm gonna take Anastasia Beverly Hills caramel and I'm gonna use that as my transition shade in between that dark brown irony start that transition and then now I'm gonna go back into the iconic palette and I'm gonna use the color right here seeking I'm gonna take seeking and put that on top of that shade so for the golden part I'm gonna take the color known for which is this gold shade right here I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna put it in the center of my lid where I left it open Ooh, you see how big my little gold is I'm gonna take this brown shade right here over the top and put it on the outside corners and whatever's left I'm just gonna bring it around then I'm going to go back in with my fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend around that. I did get a little bit of this over the gold, but it's cool because you can just lay it back down. And then also what I'm going to do is kind of slightly like blend them into each other. 
So that starts the portion of the halo. We have the gold right here and we have the two browns on the outside. Because we want to keep the halo effects, I'm only going to line like the outer side like I did my eyes. So I'm going to take it and outline pretty much just as much as I did there. I'm going to go back into over the top. Try to smoke out the bottom. Then I'm going to go back into known for. Take a little bit of eyeliner. This is the Kat Von D Trooper Liner. And I'm just going to do like a really thin line. It's not necessarily about having a wing, but I do need a base for my lashes. Cool. I'm just going to deepen my outer corner a little bit. Take some Marc Jacobs liner. I'm going to coat the eyelashes so that when I put on my falsies, I don't actually have like the under, like the gray from the eyeshadow underneath it. So while I'm letting that dry, I'm going to go on my Marc Jacobs Do You Drop. I actually got these from a floor store as well. These are like awesome for the glow. I use this for my face to enhance my actual highlight. And then on top of that, I will mix this with my, my Melanie Mills Gleam in this because I want to have a little bit too dark. And it gives me like the best glow. So I take like not even a whole pump, like a little bit of a pump. And I just take it and I just kind of dot it where I want my highlight to be. Hit it with a damp beauty blender and just buff that out. Then after, I'm gonna go in with Old Faithful, Anastasia Beverly Hills, so Hollywood. Bring my brush with some Fix Plus. I'm gonna hit it, and we're gonna just put it on top to take that glow to the next level. And then I'm just gonna press in with my beauty blender to enhance it. After I do that, I always clean up my under eyes because I feel like there's always a little bit of fallout. So just handy dandy Anastasia Berkeley Hills kit to brighten up everything. I'm mixing the banana and the peaches and cream. I am going to apply my lashes off camera and I will be right back. For my lip, I'm gonna keep it simple and really nude because I feel like my eyes are already dramatic. So I'm gonna take, ah! really, I'm just gonna hit the ground while the top is off. This hair is so big, like I did like a YouTube thing, like I watched YouTube and I had them, and I watched them do like the, uh, what are those things called, the flexi rods and their hair was just all big and like cute and I just feel like mine is just fluffy. Anyway, I got a clean lip liner again. So this is NYX Moth, gonna line my lips. Then I'm gonna take Ofra Mocha and fill everything in. So this completes the look. It was super simple. It probably only takes like a good 10 minutes to do. Um, it's really simple. It's like really pretty. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of your girl Christy K, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and also make sure that you hit the bell so that you can get notifications when I post. I do post usually about once a week. Um, and with that said, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.